Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 4 is brought to you by examclear.com. No more fear from exam. The next activity is to show that the opposite sides are equal. I have told you that by definition the parallelogram, the definition is just that these sides, opposite sides are parallel. But actually the opposite sides are equal also. If you want you can do this. Let's pause this video and draw these uh, different kinds of parallelogram. Right? So if you see this is one kind, this is unkind, unkind, and then you measure this length, you'll see that this length is equal to this length, this is equal to this. In this particular parallelogram, this length will be equal to this, this length will be equal to this. In this also, you'll notice that this length will be equal to this, and this will be equal to this. You can measure using scale. Draw a different parallelogram and you'll see that this is how it is. Okay, so let's try to prove this. Right? So this is a theorem. This is a theorem that in parallelogram the opposite sides are equal. So we have to prove this. So let's mark it A, B, C, and D. Okay. Now if you see, we have just proved that these triangles are congruent. Okay. A. Okay, let me put A here, let me put C here. A, B, B, and this is B, D. Yeah. These two triangles were congruent. We have just proved that, right? Uh, triangle A, D, B is congruent to triangle C, B, D, actually. Right? Just proved. Or you can say that the uh, theorem also that a diagonal divides uh, the whole parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Now since they are congruent, I can say that AD is equal to BC. So AD is equal to BC implies if you see that these sides are equal. Similarly, DC is equal to AB. Right? AB is equal to DZ. Reason I can say sides of congruent triangles or respective side. Right? So with this CD is equal to AB and thus I can prove that I have proved that the opposite sides are equal. Not a difficult, right? Because we know that the triangles are congruent, that means the respective sides are equal, and with that, we can prove that in the parallelogram, the opposite sides are not only parallel, they are also equal. Okay. Let's see if the converse is true or not. Okay, so we'll see that the converse is true or not, and the converse will be uh, let me note down the converse. It will be other way around. That is, if each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal, then it is parallelogram. That is, if each pair of opposite side of a quadrilateral is equal then it is parallelogram correct that means if you have any quadrilateral and these pairs are equal this implies it is a parallelogram so let's see this let's try to do this an activity on this you can also do the same thing take a piece of paper pencil scale now draw a line and draw some length okay, from this vertex and draw the same length from this vertex. I'm just trying to draw arc. So with this, this length and this length are same. Correct? Now take any point on this arc and take this length in the compass and then cut it. 
So with this, if you see, you know, if you join these points, if you join these points, this length is equal to this length. Why? Because that's how we have done. So we have taken this length, some AB, and then we have taken some length, and the same length arc we have drawn here also. And then from this point, we have taken the same length of AB and cut this. Right? So if you say this ABCD is a parallelogram, then AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC by construction. Having drawn this quadrilateral where these opposite sides are equal. Now if you observe, again okay, this also you have to observe, you will observe that AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC and that's why it is a parallelogram. Correct? This is all observation. There is no proof here. As of now, I will prove it later. This is an activity for you. Take a piece of pencil, take a piece of paper, protractor, and compass. In fact, you don't need protractor, you just need compass. Okay? And a scale. Draw a length AB and draw some length. Take some length in compass and draw these two arcs, taking A and B as the uh, point and then take any point on D and take measure this length AB again in compass and cut this arc. It will cut at this point and then join these points, four points. You will see that you will get a quadrilateral. And then try observe that AB is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD and thus it is a parallelogram. So we drew a quadrilateral where the opposite sides are equal and then we found that it is nothing but parallelogram. Okay. So this is what uh, we just have done activity for. Now we will try to prove it. It is a theorem. It is a theorem. The theorem says that if the opposite, each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal then it is a parallelogram. Please note here the word quadrilateral. So any quadrilateral if the opposite side, take any quadrilateral and if the opposite sides are equal this implies it is a parallelogram. Okay, so we have to prove this. So let's take this quadrilateral, let's name this value A, B, C, and D. Okay, and now if you see that it is given that this two side opposite sides are that's all is given can we prove that these are parallel so to prove these are parallel if we can prove that this angle and this angle are equal we can prove that these two sides are parallel similarly if i can prove this angle and this angle are equal that means I, uh, this angle and this angle are equal that means AB, AD and BC are parallel because AD and BC is parallel. If AD and BC is parallel and DB is a transversal, then they form alternate pair of angles. To prove this, the best way to prove that is to, we can, if we can prove these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, that means these angles will be equal and thus we can prove that these sides are parallel. So let's try to prove these angles are equal, congruent. Okay, so we have BD here and we have BB here. So BDA and this is C. So here AB is equal to DC given. AB is equal to DC given. Similarly AD is equal to BC given. AD is equal to BC given. Plus if you see DB is the common side. Right, thus with SSS congruency, these triangles are congruent. So let's write that. Triangle ABD and triangle CDB in triangle. Okay, so I can say that AB is equal to CD, BD is equal to DB, and AD is equal to CB. So this is given. This is common side. This is also given. Therefore, these triangles are congruent. 
angle CDB by side 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 rule. Now this thing this is uh, congruent. I can say that angle ADB that is angle ADB this angle this is equal to what this angle. Therefore, angle ADB is equal to angle CBD. Right? Let's put a mark here. ADB and CBD. CBD. Let's put one line here. But if you see, but these are alternate angle, alternate angle. So AD is parallel to BC. So one thing is done. Similarly, I have to group CD is parallel to AB. So I have to group this angle is equal to this angle. What is this angle? ABD. ABD, this angle should be equal to, in fact, by this, this angle is equal to this angle that is CDB. CDB, that is this. So if you see that, these are nothing but alternate angles. If DC is parallel to AB, and DB is the transversal, then these are alternate angles. Correct? Now, since triangle CDB CDB C D B sorry this one is equal to triangle A B D right C D B and A B D are equal A B is parallel to C D alternate now we have proved A D is parallel to B C and we have proved A B is parallel to C D thus the opposite sides are parallel. So, ABCD is a parallelogram. Correct? So, this is a theorem that if opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal, then it is in parallelogram. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.